That is it guys the creamy fettuccine alfredo is done and what's up guys it's my Shanina. welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here and today yes i'm finally making the fettuccine alfredo recipe so if you want to know how i made that because i posted a shorts video on youtube and everyone has been messaging me and requesting me to make the full recipe so as you guys requested here's the video all right so i'll quickly show you guys the ingredients so i've got two because i made some pasta before not pasta what am i saying these noodles things before so i've got some leftover um these are fresh i don't know what these are called these ones fresh noodles from iceland i bought those then i have a block of mature cheddar and i'm only going to use a bit so you can depending on how much you're making you can kind of improvise on them out I've got one um, tub of, not tub, tub of double cream, double cream cheese, which is whipped cream. And I've got some garlic granules and I've also got some garlic chopped up as well. Let me show you guys quickly. Whoops, right here. That's garlic chopped up. That's cheese, the block of cheese. I've chopped it up into cubes. So it's easier for it to melt. And I've got the um, noodles right there and some garlic granules as well. I was using this just before, just garlic granules, but as you can see, I'm almost out. So I'm using some fresh, finely chopped um, garlic as well. And also to um, saute everything, you're gonna need some butter as well. And that's literally what we need. Okay, and you're also going to need some Italian seasoning or oregano, some lemon juice. You can use fresh lemon as well, but I only have this. And also salt, obviously to boil the hot water and I'll show you guys right now. And some chili powder or chili flakes. I don't have chili flakes, I'm just using chilli powder. But you can use chili flakes. Um, All right, so I'm boiling some hot water with some salt, and I'm going to cook the fresh noodles. Cook it according to your package. So my package says cook it for four minutes in boiling water. I'm going to do that right now. All right, so I'm boiling the um, fresh noodles in the pot for four minutes on a timer. Make sure you take it out exactly on the timer, otherwise it will become mushy and just gross. First, I'm melting the butter. All right. Next, I'm going to add the garlic granules, and I'm going to add the fresh chopped garlic in there as well sorry you can't even see it properly also i forgot to mention when you drain the um pasta or noodles make sure you save some i'm saved all of it just in case i don't know how much i'm gonna need make sure you save at least half of the water because you're gonna need it as well now as you can see the garlic granules and the chopped finely chopped garlic are starting to become brown and it smells really great now all right, so I've also added a spoonful of chili powder in there as well. Now, if you have chili flakes, you can use that instead. It's probably much better, but I don't have chili flakes. I'm just going to make do with chili powder. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, it tastes just the same. All right, now I'm going to add the Italian herb seasoning as well. So if you have oregano, you can use that as well. I'm just going to go all out and use loads. Now I'm going to add the double cream as well. Oops, kind of poured it all over the... All right, once that's in, give it a good old stir. And now I'm gonna add the cheese. You can add however much you want. Um, the more cheese, the better, but <laughs> yeah. All right, now I'm gonna reduce the heat and I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of lemon juice. You can use half a lemon, but I'm gonna use about a tablespoon or a half of lemon juice. All right, I'm also gonna add a, about a cup full of the pasta water that I saved from earlier, I remember that? So I'm gonna add about a cup of that. All right, so I've added the pasta now, give it a good old stir. Um, that is it guys, the creamy fettuccine alfredo is done. And last time I made it, I served it with some fried chicken, but this time I'm just gonna serve the pasta by itself because it's so delicious. And as you can see, I've garnished it with a bit of coriander on the top just for the video. But yeah, that's it. Make sure you guys try this recipe out and let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. And that's it, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to sit down and enjoy this right now. So see you guys later.